from now session five of our special dietary requirements and we're now on diabetes and diabetic food. So we've got our diabetic fruit loaf here. So let's go through the ingredients. So we have our raisins, our sultanas. I've actually chopped up the apricots just to make it easier for us. We've got our whole cherries, which is really nice at the end when you slice it and get that look of that whole cherry. And we've got our rolled oats and we soak this for at least an hour, if not overnight, with the orange juice and the water. Right? So really important that you make sure you have at least an hour to soak our fruits ready to be used. We also have our wholemeal flour, our baking powder, our plain flour and our cinnamon. So we've got the spice there coming through. And we're just going to mix the two of those together and then put it into our bowl that's already ready there for us baking the other. So the temperature for this is going to be um, 160 degrees and it needs at least 40 to 45 minutes to bake this one. Remembering to use our little skewer to test to see if it's cooked or not, whether or not there's any stickiness on the end of our skewer. So let's mix the two together. Just going to grab a little bit more water just to find that. So, Claire, if it's a bit dry, add a little bit of water, you yes. think. Looks good. All that lovely fruit in there looks good. How are we going? So that nice dough. Yep. So we're after that little cake mixture going on there. Just make sure you're folding it through to make sure all the dry ingredients is stuff at the bottom. So you've just got to make sure that, that those oats in particular and that fruit's soft a little bit, Claire, eh? When we soak that orange juice and that water in there. Yeah. So you said an hour or the day or a day before. Yeah. As long as it's nice and overnight would be perfect. Overnight's probably better, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And we want to have all those extra large pieces of fruit going mm. on. It gives our actual loaf that we're making our fruit loaf lots of texture. Yeah, a little farmhouse looking for me. That's right. I think. Looks good. So we're gonna put this into our container. We're just gonna bake in the oven. I'm looking forward to tucking into that one a little bit later. Mm. Me too. After that nice golden colour on the top, make sure you don't turn your oven up too much. Because remember, fruit does have natural sugar, so we need to make sure we're not putting the oven up too high. So this will actually probably take a while to cook. It, this one. Yeah, we need to be checking. A bit it. like I that hummingbird. Say, yeah, I would say at least um, we need to be checking it probably at least about 35 minutes in, and then you'll be able to judge how much longer you need. Remember our ovens here at TAFE are probably a little bit more efficient possibly than the ones you have at home. So make sure you're obviously not uh, taking it out as more in the middle. So there we are. Mm -hmm. Easily now pop that in the oven. Just a trick Claire, I, I can see when you've been putting things in the oven, you're always putting it onto a tray. Yes. And then you just, rather so, than trying to scoop it out and it fall all over the place or crack, you're just using that tray. Always be mindful of working safe at home. Now those moulds are great, but they're really flimsy. So if you're trying to get something out of the oven, it's so much easier to pull the tray towards you than it is trying to use it without the tray. Same with that foil with the ravioli before. Yes, definitely. Right, so we're now just continuing on our session five for our flourless orange cake. This is an amazing recipe for anyone that's actually lactose intolerant, dairy intolerant, and also gluten-free. So one of these recipes you need to have up your sleeves when it comes to the industry. To have all three in one recipe is great. So good. 
Yes, so we have also sweetener, artificial sweetener we're using in this recipe, so it even covers our sugar free. Almond meal instead of using any flour, so we know that it's gluten free. Now, a bit strange this recipe, um, I've obviously used this in the industry myself. This was actually two hot oranges that you need to actually put into hot water and actually boil them into the, until they're really, really soft and then blend them up, which is what that is. That's actually lots of two oranges already done earlier today. Um, if you don't have a blender, there's nothing stopping you from actually putting them on your chopping board and really chopping it nice and fine on your chopping board if you don't have a blender. We've got our four eggs that I've whisked up ready to go and here we go all in one recipe. We're using our normal little container that we did earlier for our diabetic fruit loaf ready to go there and our tray ready to go in the oven. So let's start mixing this all up. We can add now our two oranges that are obviously cooked and blended up ready to go and our four eggs can go in as well. That was, how long was that 30 minutes to clear that orange, wasn't it? Yes. This one shouldn't take so long to cook. Not so much heavy fruit in this one like the fruit cake we did earlier. This one's a nice mixture all in one. It'll be easy to put in so it won't have so much depth for us to cook this one off. Make sure you give it a good mix up. Sometimes as well in the industry I've done a, a recipe very similar where I've added poppy seeds to this. So it's been an orange and poppy seed cake, uh, which most people recognise when they are gluten free and they're looking for something on the menu. So again, a good recipe to keep, and up your sleeve, something we can use for our gluten free. So again, that's all nicely mixed in. We can add it to our container to go into the oven. Very nice recipe this one actually, works yeah. really well. I love the flavour of this one. Mm, my beautiful. Yeah. Very strange, like you say, to actually have two oranges just boiling away. Mm. Uh, I think most people think you, that you're actually lying to them when you actually say you need to boil two yeah. hot oranges. Oh, it's actually really nice. It works out really well. So make sure you've got a nice even top. And then that can be baked in the oven. Onto our tray and into the oven. Beautiful. Good work, Claire. We now come into the end of our session five, where we have just taken out our beautiful fruit loaf and our beautiful orange and almond flourless. Um, lactose-free, dairy-free and uh, gluten-free product. So here we are here. Um, it's got a nice golden colour on the top, but basically they are now ready to be cooled down and then you can slice them up and serve them. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed our sessions together and hopefully you have lots and lots of chances um, to successfully cook at home. Well Thanks, done. guys. Well done, Chef.